In this video, we'll be going over default chart options, which allow you to set options globally for any new charts that you open up. Now we can access the default chart options via configure, preferences, chart, and options. Now this will be the first of three videos, and this video will cover the first column, the second video, the second column, and the third video, the third column. Okay, so right now we have show extended data. If I were to turn this off and then open a new chart, now if I were to bring up Apple, you'll notice here that there is no extended data. And if I were to show extended data, we can verify that. Now you'll see it all fill in. Now next in that list is the snap open close and I just want to show you this. Right now it's turned off and when using the mouse tools, let's say I were to select the line tool, you'll notice here that it's snapping to the high and the low but not the open or the close. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can see it more. Let me go back. You'll notice the high and the low snaps. Now if I were to go back here, chart options, and turn on snap, open, and close, click apply. Now you'll notice that it snaps to the open and the close as well. Okay, so let's go back to configure, preferences, chart, options. I'm going to turn on the show trade panel, show orders, show trades, and show the DOM panel. So what these four do is exactly what they say they do. So they will enable the trade panel. They will allow to show orders and trades as well as a DOM panel when opening a new chart. So let's click apply. Okay. Let's bring up The euro dollar and you'll notice here that we have the trade panel which is here we have the DOM panel which is here and then we have show orders there is the order and we also have show trades which is right here. You can see the trade is a, presently a trade right now. Now we also have here the show profit and loss ladder and if I were to select that and click apply you'll notice that the profit and loss ladder show as well. Okay now we also have show grid, which shows horizontal and vertical lines on the chart. And we have grid dash. These two work in tandem. If we have dash, the lines will be dash. If we don't have dash, then the lines will be solid. So let's do the dash first. Let's click apply. Let's click OK. Let's bring up another chart. Let's bring up Oracle. And you'll see now that the grid has dashed lines. If we go back to configure preferences, chart options, and then take off the dash, you'll notice that we have solid lines. So let's turn off the show grid. Click apply. Click OK. Let's close Oracle. Let's bring up Microsoft. Let's bring up a study. Configure preferences, chart options. Let's move this to the side. Now we have next show the major times. 
And this shows vertical lines for major times on the chart. So if we select Show Major Times, click Apply, you'll notice now that the vertical lines show. In this case, separating days. We also have here the Show Chart buttons. And this enables the Remove Study button on the study plots. So if we click Show Chart Buttons, click Apply, you'll notice now here we have the Study Plot buttons enabled. And if we take them off, you'll see that they'll disappear. OK, let's go back here. The uh, Show PL Ladder we've already done. Show Exchange, you'll notice here we ha have NASDAQ by the symbol. If we turn that off, you'll no longer see it. We can turn off the symbol. If I click Apply, the symbol is gone. And we can also turn off the bar size. If I turn that off, that's also gone. Uh, the Show Crosshair, uh, this is the crosshair that you see here. If you turn that off and open up a new chart, it will not be the crosshair. And the last one we have is Show Analysis Name. So let's go over to Back to the euro dollar. I believe there's an analysis here. Let's go back to chart options. If we click show analysis name, we now see the analysis name here. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.